Hello guys, you're welcome to Vince Tech Class. And uh, in today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through human stress prediction using machine learning. Now, human stress prediction is a challenging task as uh, there are so many words that can be used by most people on their posts that can show whether a person is uh, having psychological stress or not. Now, let me walk you through the project. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is to import our necessary libraries. You can read on these libraries to gain more insights and their usage. Next is to load our dataset. And uh, the dataset used for this project was collected from Kaggle. In Kaggle, you can also you can upload the dataset. You can also download datasets. And it also allow machine learning engineers to enter into competition to solve data science challenges. In my own case, I've already downloaded the datasets from Kaggle. So if you have your dataset on your system, the first thing you're going to do is to copy the location of your dataset. This is the location of my dataset. Now you change the um, backward slash to a forward slash. But if you decide to leave it the way it is, it's going to prompt an error message. Next, we use the head function to view the first five rows of our dataset. This is the first five rows of our dataset. Next, we use we see the shape of our dataset, and from the output, we have about two thousand eight hundred thirty-eight observations and seven attributes. That is the shape of our dataset. Next, we check for null values, and uh, if you can observe from the output, we don't have any null values. Let's say we have null values. You can use the min function to fill in the null values or any other any Imputation techniques that works well for your data set. Next, we clean the text column with stop words, links, and special symbols by creating a function called clean. You can also see my natural language processing playlist for more explanation on this. Next, we use the word cloud to visualize words used by most people. And if you can observe from the output, these are words used by most people to express their mental state of health. We have work, time, know, feel, and etc. Next, we will use the stress and no stress label instead of using 0 and 1. Now, we use the head function to print the first five rows. And you can observe from the output that is our target variable. We don't have zeros and one. Next, we use the train test split function to divide, to divide our data set into training and testing. That is 20% for testing, Y 80% for training. And we have our random state to be 42. Next, we train our model, the random forest classifier. Next, we fit the model into the S-train and the Y-train. Now, let's test the performance of our model on some random sentence. I am sick. Our model pre predicted I am sick. I am sick. So be no stress. That is the model predicted the model the the output predicted by our model will be stored in this x test spread variable and now we use the accuracy score function to compare the predicted value and our original value which gave us an accuracy of 72.2 showing that our model predicted 72 correctly 72 percent correctly out of 100 percent and predicted 28 wrongly it shows that our model is performing well, but if you want to further improve the accuracy of your model, you can feed it with more data and also experiment with other algorithms to see the performance of your model. So guys, that's all for today's tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.